world has never seen or heard of before. The new concept, my friends, is called a judge handle. Allow me to explain to you what that means. Most of you might remember the mass GAT rallies that took place during March of 2021. They were chiefly directed against three men in the Syrian Jewish community who were involved in turbulent divorce proceedings with their spouses. Due to the clamorous nature of those disturbances, the three men were ultimately coerced into issuing gittin that were not in compliance with halacha. One of the dayanim, or religious judges, that was involved in two of those gittin, his name is Pinchas Rabinowitz. This judge recently produced two letters in which he stated that both of the gets that he himself presided over were invalid. Let me repeat that. A rabbinic judge invalidated the very gittin that he himself presided over. I will link for you below the letters from Rabinowitz where you can read his own words for yourself. So in effect, he made an about face, a flip-flop, a wishy-washy 180, a U-turn, or a jug handle. And therefore, for the first time in world history, we have a judge, Pinchas Rabinowitz, who created the first judge handle. Now, I applaud Rabinowitz for creating this U-turn or judge handle. However, this whole scenario begs for a number of questions to be asked. Number one, why did Rabinowitz not do his own due diligence back in March of 2021 to investigate the circumstances surrounding these gittin to the extent that he now finds it necessary to invalidate them? Is this a case of shoddy workmanship or of malpractice? Number two, why did it take Rabinowitz almost a whole year to realize his mistake and do a U-turn? Number three, where were all of the other rabbis who witnessed these very public events while they were circulating all over social media networks? Why did they sit silently by and do nothing while these invalid gittin were being procured? What if these freed women had remarried? Do you know who would have been responsible for the sin of Eshet Ish? being done and the possibility of a mamzer being born? You guessed it. It would have been none other than Rabinowitz and all the other rabbis who fell silent. And although Rabinowitz did the right thing in invalidating his own gittin and creating the judge handle, in no way do I consider him an upstanding dayan since he had been previously caught ruling malevolently in other divorce cases. It is just that the March 2021 cases had turned into such an obvious social media circus, which proved decisively that overt coercive measures had been employed to procure those gittin, and that therefore it became impossible to judge such a gettin Allah. But remember that besides for those two invalid gittin procured by Rabinowitz, there was also a third one. That would be the one issued to Miss Elizabeth Carey Hirsch, which has yet to be invalidated by the officiating rabbi. The rabbi in that case, who goes by the name of Yitzchak Israeli, refuses to do a U-turn or judge handle, despite the appearance of letters from other rabbis proclaiming it to be a get mausa or coerced get. We are waiting now for Israeli to do his own judge handle. That is because we have all been witness to the shaming rallies on social media, which created an obvious problem of coercion. So the question is, how much longer will Israeli bury his head in the sand like an ostrich, refusing to acknowledge the obvious fact that these gittin are not kosher? How can he rely on these aguna thugs, many of whom are not even fully religious themselves? If you don't believe me that they cannot be classified as religious, then just have a look for yourselves at all the links that I have posted for you below, and you will clearly see married women who are not covering their hair as they are supposed to, along with various other wardrobe malfunctions. None of the above-mentioned rabbis would ever allow their sons to marry such women of ill repute and low religious standards, and yet they still rely on the screwball tactics to obtain gittin. So the question is, when will Rabbi Yisraeli finally do the judge handle? Now, in regards to the question of where were all the other Syrian community rabbis while all of this egregious anti-Torah get writing was going on, such as David Ozeri, Eli Mansour, and David Maslaton. Well, contrary to what you might have thought, instead of simply averting their eyes, they were very actively promoting these actions. 
There's a video footage which I have linked for you below, proving that they were accepting of these gittin, and nowhere have they come out and announced that those gittin are null and void. So now that my friends and associates in the Syrian community are aware of the malfeasance of some of their rabbis, I am coming here today to ask them the following question. What exactly are they planning to do about it? Are they simply going to retain the current status quo, which means allowing these quacks to keep making their eloquent speeches, all the while that they turn around and continue to be the accessories to the destruction of the pedigree of Amisrael that they are through their ignorant rulings and their silence? But really, it is much more than silence. There are widely distributed Instagram videos where these rabbis can be seen lending their support to members of the irreligious heretical group known as Leva Gunot to carry out thuggish street rallies in order to extract unkosher gittin. But instead of, Le instead of Leva Gunot, I would rather refer to them as Leverage Agunot because that is really what they are doing, leveraging the rebellious women in the community known as the fake Agunot in order to raise money from gullible Jews in order to keep violating halachas of divorce. And while we are on the subject of rogue rabbis, there are a few others who have demonstrated their disregard for the Torah and halacha 